Hoopla! Bring on Warlord Growler here. Ready to conquer the guy. Oh my. Like that. Growler like that. <clears throat> uh, Growler? You were supposed to be doing the intro? What? Oh, uh. Yeah. Like. Subscribe. All that good stuff. Why well, hey there, good looking? Growler! Quit chasing the women. Go we'll talk to Worf. <clears throat> Hello, Hello, everyone. How may I assist you? <laughs> uh, Trigon here. Well, that's Worf. I'm Trigon. Um, the, the Star Trek Online. <laughs> I'm sorry. Growler has me totally befuddled now. <laughs> As Growler said, don't forget, if you like this video, tickle that thumbs up button for us. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. So we are, here we are back on uh, Kronos. And uh, I guess we need to speak to Worf. Fight with honor. Uh, well, duh. Okay. Perhaps. First, tell me who you are. Well, they don't know who I am. I'm Growler of the Warlord. Warlord Growler of the Warlord. Greetings. How may I assist you? That is an odd request. <laughs> we stand in the courtyard of the Great Hall, and honor has no need of secrecy. If you cannot speak your mind in this place, then I have no desire to hear what you have to say. <laughs> okay. That is not my son's name. If Kemtar wishes to talk, tell him to come and speak to me. I will not communicate through intermediaries. He is the only one in danger, unless you have been foolish enough to listen to his tale. But you have already made that mistake. If you have spoken to him, then you have been to Rurapente. <clears throat> I am Gintok to the house of Martok. Lady Sorella has declared vengeance on the house of Jimpok. It would not surprise me if all the great houses wish me dead. Tell my son that I am capable of defending myself. Yeah, Romulans. Romulans? That does not make sense. Jim Pock's position towards the Federation and the Tal Shiar is very clear. And in this, he has my house's full support. It would be foolish for any house to make such a connection. However, I would not be surprised to hear you mention the house of Duras. Mm, don't know about them. And that is exactly the sort of accusation that landed my son in a penal colony. Tell Kemtar that unless he has proof, he should stay silent. If he is a fugitive from Ruapente, he will only make his situation worse. I do not want to know any more about what you two are plotting. I'm not plotting anything. Royal Klingon here. Alright, uh, why don't we move off a little ways, Growler, before uh, contacting uh, Kimtar. Has Worf agreed to speak to us? What name I use is not important. Did you tell him what we've learned? Yes, Did you yes. Tell him the wrong yes, Given yes. their history, I've considered the possibility that the House of Duras might be involved. Is he at least willing to review our evidence? Yai-cha! A stubborn old man, and he is going to get himself killed. Agreed. If the Jin talk to House Martok will not listen, we will take our concerns to the house itself. Martok's son Drex is off world. I will contact Lady Sorella and arrange a meeting. Okay. Hail the Klingon Defense Force to report. You must meet with Lady Sorella from the House of Martok. She must be warned. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Ooh, level eight, Growler, level eight. What we got here? We got one space skill point. So where do we want to put that? 
Looks like so far we've been going all tactical. Sorella, lady of uh. the House of Martok, has requested that you meet her at the House Estate in the Ketha Lowlands. She did not explain why she wanted to see you, but I expect that she has some tasks she would like completed. The House of Martok has lost much prestige since I took the Chancellor's seat. But they still have many allies among the KDF, and I am loath to reject Cirilla's request without a good reason. Gaining the favor of the House of Martok could serve you well. But remember, they have many enemies. I harbor no ill toward Cirilla, but do not get caught up in her vengeance against me. It would not be in your best interest. Mm, don't worry. Serve the Empire well. Kapla! Mm, Kapla. Despite our different, talk to the Battle Masters to find out how you can best. Alright, alright, alright. Okay, advanced energy weapon training. Let's hit that one. Yo, can't get anything more till we hit, uh, le or anything higher until we hit Lieutenant Commander. So cool. Okay, Growler. Uh, I wonder what level Lieutenant Commander is. I'm betting level 10, maybe level 11. I don't know the levels very well, I'm afraid. Okay, so first things first, I want to look at our ship and look at some of this new stuff we just got. Okay. Current forward weapon. 45 degree arc. Yeah, this is definitely better. Okay. So what else we got here? It's a personal shield. Engineering console. Alright, we didn't have one of those, so... What are we supposed to do with that? Okay. What's this? Science console. Okay. Shield array. Definitely better than what we have now. Okay. Overcharging warp core. We had quite a bit of interesting stuff here, didn't we? Ooh, new torpedo full of fancy torpedo launcher. Definitely put that in there. What's this? A mastiff. Cool. Phaser cannon. 180 degree arc. Do we have uh, aft weapons on this? I don't think we do. Oh yeah, we do. Right here. Disruptor cannon, 360 degree arc. I don't think we want to mess with that. Yeah, the other stuff we have does a lot more damage. Hmm. And let's see what we got here. Impulse engines. Let's go ahead and upgrade those. And last but not least, what's this here? Oh, another science console. swap that. I think I sort of like that one better. Growler. Now they got a personal shield here. Is this better? Yes, it is. Cool. So we swap that out. We got for weapons here. Something. I don't know. I'm sort of happy with what we got. Let's quit messing with it. Okay. Okay. Travel to the Catholowlands. Let's travel to the Catholowlands. How do we do that? 
Oh, transporters. How much you want to bet? Go to the transporters. Does seem to be pointing us in this direction, doesn't it? Maybe we have to go to this transporter pad? No. Alright, wait a minute. Let's be smart and look at the map. Okay, yeah, we're definitely in the wrong place. These crawlers quit uh, staring at the ladies. No, I haven't. Oh. Well, at least you quit commenting on it and getting off track. Oh, maybe. Alright, we'll just keep this crew. Not that I think we have a lot of choice. I think that's only the only officers we've got. <laughs> Okay. Make our way to her as quick as possible. Well, since that's what we're here for, that seems like a logical uh, thing to do. What are you, some sort of Vulcan or something? You don't have to be a Vulcan to use logic, Growler. Uh, sounds like a Federation thingy to do. Oh, here she is, right here. Uh, I've seen better. Growler! Just Welcome. talk to her. Greetings, Kemtar. It pleases me that you have both come to my home. The House of Martok has many enemies. We have called for vengeance against the House of Jempa and all of its allies for the death of my husband. And many smaller houses seek to curry favor with Jempa or the House of Duras by striking at us. Until now, most of these attacks have been little more than a nuisance. When we received word from Kemtar that one of the houses may be plotting to assassinate Worf, it confirmed my suspicions that there is a greater threat emerging. I now believe that my grandson Maven may also be a target. These assassins threaten to destabilize our position on the High Council. <sighs> Whoever has ordered such a dishonorable act, or who would be cowardly enough to carry it out, must be stopped. Given your current investigation, I ask that you find the assassin and remove the threat before the attempt is struck. Yeah. Well, Martok was a great warrior. Yes, we value your concerns and we will proceed with caution in our investigation. It is refreshing and a testimony to the dignity of House Martok that you're willing to speak out and recognize this looming threat. May I ask where your grandson Maven is now? He is on his way to the Batlet tournament on Forkus 3 with your Why is her voice so low? Worf assured me that he would handle security matters during the trip. But that was before you reported your findings to me. Hmm. We should go too. Before you go, I have another concern. Our local farmers reported seeing a Romulan here recently. Given Kimtar's suspicions of a house collaborating with the Tal Shar, it seems to be an odd coincidence. We need to know what the Romulan was doing here before you leave for the mm. Do I have to talk to farmers? Yes, Growler, you have to talk to the farmers. Mm. I don't like talking to farmers. This is a really pretty place, though. And I really like it. I don't know what on earth it is they're growing here, but... Alright, farmers. Looks like there's some over here. I 
think. I oh, hear somebody. The only thing I've paid attention to of late has been the lack of rain. But you're a warrior, not a farmer. You wouldn't be interested in that. Sorry I couldn't help you. No, I'm not. Mm. Carler, we do need to talk to you about tact. The Targs have been busy tearing on my roots. But other than that, I haven't seen anything unusual. Huh. Growler knows a lot about tactics. I didn't say tactics, Growler. I said tact. Tact. Very important thing that maybe you should consider learning. Uh, here's another farmer right here. I remember seeing he said he was a surveyor hired to architect a new irrigation system. He set up equipment on the hill over there, but I haven't seen him lately. It wouldn't surprise me if he's up to no good. You can never trust a Romulan. What would a Romulan be doing on Kronos? Alright. Up the hill. This seems highly suspicious to me. Uh oh, I hear something. Oh, this thing. Interesting. Uh oh. see stairs? I don't see any stairs. Or yeah, there's some. Well, that's sort of pretty. Who cares if it's pretty? They need to be killed. Well, let's talk to this guy here. Yes, I remember this man. It's not every day you see a Romulan in the Ketha Lowlands. He didn't say he was a surveyor, though. He told me that he was a part of a diplomatic delegation studying our agriculture. Hmm. Martok would have never let a Romulan set foot on our world. That's why I don't think much of Jim Park. He's too soft. The oddest thing I remember, other than him being a Romulan, was that he personally scheduled the delivery of goods to the farm. That is against our security procedures. Lady Sorella insists on authorizing all deliveries to the manor. Mm. However, his codes were valid. He had Lady Sorella's signature, so I did as he asked. His delivery arrived today. A large package was moved to the grain storage shed near the house uh -oh. of Martok's manor. The Nep would know what was ordered. He handles most of Lady Sorella's business transactions. Uh, what's with the low voice in some of these act voice actors? Alright, uh, let's find this package. Whoa! Uh, possibly without the long drop to our doom. Right up here in front of us somewhere. I processed that delivery. It was an order to the house of Martok. They needed explosives for digging out a new irrigation system. The order was placed by Lady Serena with her signature and authorization. Uh, 
Okay. Alright, which direction am I supposed to go? This way? Can we even... Can we go straight up here? Uh, seems so, so far. Run, Growler, run! Uh oh come on. Up the hill, up the hill, let's go. I think we lost our... Oh, darn. Come on, you guys, get up here. There we go. Uh, uh, uh. Assuming the wild targs are not what we're after, so we'll ignore them. Come on, you idiots, hurry up. Where are they stuck at? I don't like trying to get NPCs to follow you. Huh? So we're back in the farm. Is this what we're looking for right here? The house of Marta will crumble. Shoot him! Okay, yes. No. Wait, not yet. Take items. Oh, I thought we had to get more than one, but I guess not. We just had to get the one. All right, but we are definitely out of time for today. So... If you like this episode, please check out that thumbs up button for me, and if you haven't already, please subscribe, and we will definitely see you in the next episode. Have a good day, everyone.